So it's going to pick up through here for a second. I don't know why the hell it was doing that. Let me try switching back over. My mic's plugged in. So I don't know what the deal is. I know y'all can hear me. That's crap audio through the webcam. I, I don't want to do that. Um, so I apologize. I don't know what the hell the deal is. That's kind of strange. I mean, we might. I might be forced to use that. It's kind of weird. Um, yeah, I don't want to use that. I know y'all saying it sounds okay and everything. It's, it's awful. Let me try one more time to switch over, and then I'll switch back. All right, let's see. Testing, testing. I'm seeing feedback. I'm seeing feedback on it because you can check the feedback in the audio. So let's double check real quick that we're, we're good. We're back on the, the regular microphones. <laughs> I don't know. You never know what stream you are. It's always some random ass shit. I'm sorry, guys. So, yeah, we're good. Don't know why. It, there was no complications. That's why I showed you guys. Look, the lights, no red. Because normally there's a little red ring if it's muted. Like, I'll show you. See this? Now you can't hear me. See? So there's no red ring. Everything was fine, but it wasn't playing back. It's kind of weird. But anyways, uh, so you didn't hear nothing I said in the opening. I was <laughs> my bad. Uh, so I was bored. I'm done with everything I need to do for the evening. The wife's winding down, falling asleep in bed with the TV on with the dog. I don't feel like playing a game or watching anything. And got the wild hair up my ass to go do some fragrance shopping. I said, why not do that with you guys? Let's let's do that. So I'm open to suggestions, actually. We got Fragrance Buy and Fragrance Net both pulled up. We're going to, I'm only ordering from one. I'm not going to do two different orders. Um, but we'll see what's what. We'll see what's up. And here we are again. Appreciate those of you that tuned into Dedrick's stream a little while ago. Congratulations once again to him on 10,000 subscribers. And uh, for those of you that saw the community post, literally right after we ended this live earlier, I went to YouTube Studio to check the analytics like I do every time I end a live stream. And it, it was it was at the top. Congratulations. Click here to redeem your silver award, redeem code and had the code. And I was like, oh, so excited. So the silver play button in one email, it said two to three weeks and another one, it said up to two weeks. So fingers crossed it gets here before Christmas and I get what I wanted for Christmas. So thank you guys for that. Seriously, thank you guys. I can't wait to do that. As long as it gets here before the 22nd, because the 22nd, I'll be driving to Louisiana and I won't even get it. I'll be on the road in the morning. So as long as we get it by the 21st, 20th, so we could stream on the 21st if need, whatever. I just want to do a live stream with you guys opening it. So, all right, let me get past the audio portion and I'll catch up on the newer portion of comments. Uh, we have liftoff. Okay, yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm going to have to skip the beginning portion because you guys couldn't even hear me. So I appreciate it. Good to see a lot of you guys back that were here earlier. Some people that weren't here earlier, like Sean Hennessy, for example. Good to see you. Trey Porter, wanted by night this evening. I'm still wearing my scent of the day. Um, I'm still wearing Mason Daba. I haven't switched over to my evening choice just yet because I haven't taken my shower yet. After the stream, I will. Normally, I would have showered by now, but given the situation, I haven't jumped in the shower just yet. Back again. Yeah, let's have some fun with it. Montrese, what's going on, big dog? Fragrance buy for the win. I mean, that's the first stop. Keith's wearing... Amber and leather with a couple of sprays. Club in wheat intense man. December no buy and I ordered three more today. Yeah, I don't even bother trying to say that stuff. I figured you would enjoy that, my man. Well, report home indeed is quite the good fragrance. I definitely like it. AJ, good to see you. Reflection 45. That's a great fragrance. There's suggestion number one. So all right, let's uh let's see. So a bunch of times I've been asked about my opinion on this. They have a smaller bottle. I'd prefer a smaller bottle. No, that's okay. That's the first one being added to cart. So there we go. So like I said, I'm not necessarily going to buy every suggestion you guys say, but I'm open to suggestions. But that's one I've been asked about a bunch of times. 
Buck Spray coming out in the Everglades tonight. Habibi New York fragrances. I need to know about these. Uh, so I have one. So I actually did a video where I went over several in a discovery set as well as um, citrus and sage and citrus oud, which is the one I have a bottle of. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to buy a bunch of their bottles. That, that'd be, you know, if I was to buy 10 of their fragrances, that'd be a lot of money. So, uh, but you can get discovery sets and check them out. And like I said, I did do a video talking about about six or seven of their fragrances. Bohemian Lime, Ben Halligan's, Killing Apple Brandy on the Rocks. Those are my three recommendations. Or Green Lover by Louis and Pika. So I'm not buying anything real expensive. Because uh, if I was, I would just buy Baby Cat and be done with it. I was thinking like a three, four, five fragrance haul kind of thing. Uh, some, you know, cheap to mid-level to maybe upper level of mid, over 100 bucks range. Um, there's a lot of stuff that, you know, I could, that's been on the want list for a long time. Some open suggestions. Bohemian Lime, maybe. I know they have it. Or they had it. There it is. They had small bottles. Yeah. They had 50 mLs. It's sold out now. So there you go. I'm click new arrivals right now. Buy the fireplace for Sean. So play button, smash that like. I appreciate you, big dog. Thank you, man. Intense to drop Waze. That's a bad boy right there. You are smelling good, sir. Polo Supreme. Ooh, just came in the mail today. Raph, I've been wanting to try that. That and Supreme Leather. Supreme Cashmere is probably good, too. What's going on, CJ? Ethan, good to see you. Still wearing Coco Loco. Jeremiah, about a fragrance recommendation, so you can disregard. Oh, Teray Essence. Yeah, we were doing the Bulgari stuff. So if they have it in stock, let's let's see what they have in stock. So trick to the trade, for those of you who don't know, always click in stock down here in the corner. Always click in stock so you're not wasting any time on listings that aren't available. There we go. They have it. Please have a 60 ml. Son of a bitch. I'm going to hold off on that because I don't even want a gift set. I'd rather just get the bottle. So I'm going to hold off on that one for now. Rain Essence actually went up a couple of bucks. I paid 90 something for the Black Friday sale. Went up. So it just goes to show they do discount them a little bit. Plus you get discount codes. Buy one, get one 23% was the Black Friday thing. So they have Bulgari Pour Home Extreme. Got a small bottle? Son of a bitch. Never have a small bottle. I'm going to hunt down a 50 ml. I don't want a big bottle. I'd rather get a 60 ml of the Bulgari Man Flanker, and I'd rather get a 50 ml of this, because i got a 50 ml of Bulgari Pour Homme, and that's going to be plenty. I'm trying to get more and more smaller bottles if I can. Maybe, though. I might still grab that. We're gonna For now, I'm going to put it in the cart. We might eliminate it from the cart later. I don't know. Because I really like the original earlier. I don't know. I mean, so far, we got a couple of things in the cart. Always sold out of Zerzhoff. It depends on what Zerzhoff fragrance is because they get stuff all the time. I check daily. That's why we're in the new arrival in the new arrival section. I check every day because they do multiple restocks of different things every month. So right now, they got Wanted by Night for anybody that's been looking to get it. 65 bucks for 100 ml. Been discontinued for a little bit now. Scroll to Mandarina Duck Vita Loca. I love that fragrance. So good. It was in today's video. Hmm. Don't mind looking through there. Penguin Premium Blend. That's a decent fragrance. I like to wear that one out the shower. Sandy, great to see you, my man. I haven't seen you in a long time. My Corvette buddy right there with the Corvette Avatar. Good to see you wearing signature leather tobacco. Oof, pungent. Supreme masculinity right there. I have a sample of African leather. I've tried it. Well, they don't have it. It's not in stock. But we're going to shop around here, and then we'll go We'll go to FragranceNet and see what they're working with. And whichever cart I like more, I'm going to buy that cart. That's uh, kind of what we'll do here, I think. Bentley, but that's not a bad suggestion. Add to my Bentleys. That's not a bad suggestion. Been meaning to get it. Might as well get Bentley Absolute. So I believe the testers have the caps with Bentley. I'm going to roll the dice on that. I'll put that in the cart, and I might as well get Bentley Absolute. Been meaning to get both of these for years now. See if they got a tester option. No, that's okay. Put those for now. See, like I'm, I'm open to these suggestions, guys. I didn't have any specific fragrances in mind. 
man, I can't wait to open that. I'm waiting to do it. So, so here's the conundrum. I want to have it in the thumbnail, but I'm not opening it till the live stream. So I might have to like take a generic one and just kind of put my name over it in the thumbnail for while we're live. And then after the live kind of redo the thumbnail. I think that's what I'm going to do because I want it in the thumbnail, but I also am not, am not. We're cutting tape on the box and everything in this live. We're doing this together. Cause like I told you guys in the hundred K live stream for Monday, this is not a me celebration. This is a we celebration. Cause it's not a thing without you guys. Couldn't agree. Get all oh, you weren't here earlier. Juan, you need to watch the live stream from a couple of hours ago. That's part of the fragrance hall from earlier on the, we did a live stream a few hours ago and this was the last one. I gave it a nine out of 10. It was my favorite of the five. Go watch that. Don't leave now. <laughs> but whenever you get some free time, watch the replay for the stream from earlier. Yeah, it was the last one. And it was the highest. It's still on my wrist. God, it is. It's the best one I've tried. The only one I haven't really tried is Otre Fresh, which I'll get eventually. The Triton and Iris Man Intense. That's some good stuff. Good to see you. I haven't seen you in a long time. Creed Royal Water. Ooh. You know what? Maybe. Let's see what Creed's got in stock over here. I really didn't want to spend that much on one bottle tonight, but the right fragrance, I might. And I've been wanting to get that. I've had a decant in the past of Royal Water. I'm open to it. It's a may strong maybe. Did I pass it up? Or they just don't have it in stock? It's just not in stock. I'm telling y'all guys, that's a sleeper right here. Stop sleeping on original Santal thinking individual is good enough, guys. It is better. LV Imagination. Send a day, Bull Green Man in Black. It's good stuff. People are saying it's really good. Curious if it's better than the OG. I mean, I don't know. I don't know, man. Let's see what the note breakdown looks like. Let's see what we're looking at here. Grapefruit tea. So added pedigrain and galbanum. So we've got some more greens that weren't in the regular pour room. Balsam spruce. So it's intensified greens. You got added nutmeg. So there's more spice. Pretty much the same dry down. The iris was in the mid. So there's more greens is what I'm seeing. So earthy green, galbanum, fresh green, pedigrain, spicy, dry nutmeg. Rosewood, that's an additional woody note they didn't have in balsam spruce, which is kind of fresh and green, almost piney light, depends on the, the note. Uh, but a lot of greens have been added to it. Similar is the original. I might just go ahead and get the damn 100 ml and leave it in the cart. I mean, why not? I really, really like, like this is the Mont Blanc Starwalker killer right here, Bulgari Porum, guys. Any of you that like Starwalker, this is a more complex richer version of Mont Blanc Starwalker. It smells similar to it, but there's a lot more going on here and it definitely performs better. It's still pumping off of my hand. That live stream was hours ago. That was at three o'clock central. It's 930 central right now. It's six and a half hours later. It's still going. Not a faint skin scent, guys. So, And according to MG, this is very reformulated and not what it used to be. So we're probably going to stick with it. We'll probably stick with it. Yeah, yeah, I'm live again. <laughs> I wanted to do a little fragrance shopping. I have a full review from first quarter of 2020 on it. It's solid. If you like Orchid, it's really good. It's a good alternative to Diorum. A cheap alternative to Diorum was what I classified it as. It doesn't smell like Diorum, but it kind of does the same job. Highly recommend Fat Electrician. Okay, Queen Vetiver. Glazed Chestnut Whipped Cream. Such a beautiful fragrance. Chopard Oud Malaki. So I have Killer Oud Death by Oud, which is supposed to be pretty much spot on to it. So I kind of already have that scent profile. So maybe, maybe not, at least not, maybe not tonight. It's a pretty good price too. Late to the party at a friend's miss. I snuck off to the restroom to watch. Well, Adam, I appreciate the dedication, my guy. While back that really modern looking metal or carbon fiber canister had an aviation thing. Oh, flight mode. 
Mint Parfums, M period I N T Parfums, Flight Mode. That's an oddball, really good fragrance. It's a little boozy and woodsy, but still fresh, spice, dry. That's a really good one. It's the only one I have from the brand. Mint Parfums, M period I N T, Flight Mode. Yes, and it's, alumin it's an aluminum cylinder. It has a badass sound to it when you slide the cap because it's like a cylinder style bottle. That's the fragrance you're talking about. I have not. I have not. I'm definitely not buying any Bodicea fragrances today. I'm not dropping that kind of cheese. I never, I want to say I've tried it in the past and it didn't do anything for me, but I don't remember. I don't know if I did or not. Sedley's a great fragrance. Red Tobacco is a great fragrance. Montal Udisi, maybe. Maybe that, yeah. Strong With You EDT, another great fragrance. LOL, no small bottle for you. Yeah, I really want to get Bulgari Porum Extreme because the original is just so good, man. I don't have any Frank Olivier fragrances, and the king of the Super Chat has arrived. He missed earlier, but boy, he didn't miss tonight. Creed Royal Oud trying to show out in front of everybody on how great he smells this evening. Volcanus, great to see you, my man. Pleasure as always. Thank you for the super chat. We just happen to be on the Creed page, uh, the, at least what they have in stock right now. And there you go, flexing with Creed Royal Oud. That's one of the best ones they've ever put out. But that Noir Darby this week, that's a good one. I agree. Precious Oud, one main golden Oud. Yeah, that's, that's probably going to make the 10 best designer releases of the year for me. Can't wait to experience both of them. For 194, there you go, guys. Anybody looking for 100 ml? Of the own parfum, Vimba has it. Code uh, TLTG family. Uh, I don't think that saves anything anymore. Uh, yeah, I think he stopped using the codes. It's been a while since I did anything with Vimba. I want to say he lowered his prices and got rid of the discount codes last time I talked to Kushik. Now that I remember, now that I'm thinking about it, absolutely not. <laughs> Rabian's Tonka. So I have the clone and I really like it. They had it in stock, but I think it sold out for um, for Black Friday's deals. Pretty sure it sold out. Yeah, it's sold out right now. It was like right around a hundred bucks. I just bought some Manceras. I haven't even. I still have fragrances I haven't unboxed yet that I just bought from them. But this this happens all the time, guys. That's why you see so many unboxing videos. I'm always buying new stuff to try. Tried Frag Flex. They have great deals too. Never even heard of them. That's the first time I hear of them. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I'm a little far behind. Best. Okay, I appreciate you guys weighing in. Really? I'm sure a different batch, they have some variation to them. Liquid Imaginaires, Deserts. Is that one of the ones they included? Right there, Joel. These are the two samples that came with my fragrance buy order. It's funny that you say that. Literally have a sample of it right here. I was going to include it. When I get samples and stuff like this, that's part of what goes in the mystery package every month for the members. It's right there. <laughs> Ooh, stuff is a vibe. Gucci. That's what. I'm so glad you said Gucci. Because I pulled Gucci Guilty and Gucci Guilty Black out of my cart for the last two orders and didn't get them. And I really wanted to get them because I've been working on that line. I mean, 50 ml is all I need. We add that to the cart for now. I still, I might end up pulling them out the cart again. I don't know. I've never smelled Gucci Guilty Black. The tester. Same price. Eh, 12 bucks more. Yeah, why the hell not? 12 bucks more. It's a small enough difference. I might as well. I have not. I know someone who has. It's the next comment below you. Nathan has. Really good at Photoshop. You could technically put your name on a silver play button for a thumb. I do know somebody who's really good at it. If you'd like to volunteer for that, I would greatly appreciate your assistance, Nathan. Yes, that'd be. I love you. Thank you so much for that. I know that's your way of saying, hey, I'll do it. I appreciate you. For those of you who don't know, Nathan made this TLTG logo that's in the corner. Um, Nathan made the intro that I use. I had to change the music because the music had got copyrighted. I have the license to the music I changed it to. 
Uh, Nathan's done a lot of stuff for the channel. Obviously, I'm friends with Nathan. We've done a bunch of content together. Uh, anybody not subscribed to Paragon Fragrances, you are missing out on some fantastic production work with a unique sense of humor and great takes. Definitely check out Paragon Fragrances. But yes, I would absolutely greatly appreciate that if you hook me up on that, Nathan. Let's see. Another suggestion of Creed Royal. They don't have it in stock. I looked. Oud Lemon Mint's a great fragrance. Indeed. That has silver in its name. Hmm. I'm trying to think what silver fragrances do I have? I mean, I have some ones that are silver bottles, but do I have something with silver essence in the name? I'm tripping. I feel like that's got a that's a fragrance name. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll have to look around the collection. I have so many damn fragrances. I forget some stuff that I have sometimes because of shit like we're doing right now. I'll buy so many fragrances. I've heard it's got the pencil shaving thing going, and I've always liked that. No. So uh, YSL Baby Cat is right here. It's a $900 gigabyte gaming laptop. That's that's my bottle of YSL Baby Cat. That's what I bought after that stream. <laughs> but I got the hookup. Uh, somebody then told me when I'm ready for a 75 a mil. I'm in good shape. So they got a sealed one with my name on it. So probably in a couple of weeks, I'll scoop it up. But yeah, I'm getting baby cat pretty, you know, within the next month, I would say. Carna Barcelona Marabella. Let's take a look at that note breakdown. Twenty twenty. Floral, fresh, fruity, sweet citrus. I'm sold just on the accords. Black currant, Bulgarian rose, pink pepper, green tea, jasmine, peony, musk, peach, amber. That note breakdown seems pretty feminine. I know it says unisex, and it probably is lovely, but it seems a little more feminine than I may want, especially all the similar fragrances being feminine fragrances. Maybe not for me. That's one I would have to sample first. I don't think that's a safe blind buy for me. I would have to get a decant and try that one first. I appreciate the suggestion, though, to put it on my radar because I've never looked at it before. Well, Spencer, you are bad about that. I've been wanting to get that one for a long time. I'd probably have to go to eBay for that, though. They probably don't have that in stock. Yeah, they don't. I probably I figured I'd have to go to eBay for something like that. Uh, so it'll alert you. You got to make sure to have the all notifications turned on the little bell icon and they got options you want to put on all notifications. Um, and it should alert you. The YouTube's bad about that, though. Some people complain after in the comments like how the hell did I not get an alert for this? So it's kind of hit and miss with YouTube. But that's the best thing you can do is make sure you have the all notifications turned on with the bell icon down below, like right next to where it says subscribe and like and all that good stuff. Extreme left out amber and Tonka. It did. It sure did. All right. Let me scroll down a little bit. Oh, come on now, man. You've been around since the beginning. Of course I remember you. Especially when it's people. It's either people I see all the time or people that have been with me from the start. You know, it, you got to remember. You were here in the beginning. You were one of my first like 500 subscribers. I don't remember if you were in the first 100, but I know for sure you were before the first milestone. So you were definitely in the first 500. You've been around a long time. That's what I'm saying. I haven't seen you in a little while. Uh, it's nice to see you in a chat. I know I don't see you too often in the live chats, but usually in comments on the videos. 199. Montal Honey Oud. Ooh, so um, this just came in yesterday. I haven't opened it yet. I got Mind Games Blockade as well as... Whoops. Um... How the hell do you say it again? I always butcher it. Um, shit. It's their Aventus. I'm trying to remember which one it is. Let me just do Decanto. It'll I'll know it when I see it. I keep forgetting how to say the damn name. It was I picked this one out. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Arsenico, that's the one. Couldn't remember the damn name to save my life. This is kind of like their Aventus. And I was telling Dedrick the other day, like when it comes, that's one of those DNAs that I'm down to explore every twist and turn. It, there's an argument that the Aventus DNA is the greatest men's DNA of all time because there's so much you can do with it. So many people have twisted it and made their own take on it that it's almost endless. 
and I really wanted to check the and then blockades like a tropical, you know, more fruity version and all. So that's the two I picked. This is uh, from So Avant Garde. I have this. I'm doing a review on this and Mind Games Blockade, and they're both like Aventus type niche fragrances. So I'm quite excited. I haven't opened them yet because I'm just gonna, I'm not going to do an unboxing on them. I'm just going to start wearing them and start doing some testing to do some full reviews on them. So it's funny that you mentioned Vicanto. This is going to be my, this is my first offering. I have not smelled it yet, but I appreciate the 199 super chat. It did. No shit. That's interesting. That one gets better and better. I find Chapard Cedar Malachi. Let's see what Chapard stuff they got in stock. I'm not necessarily buying everything that goes in the cart. I'm just like putting everything, the maybe list together, and then I'll do some eliminations and buy something. Cedar Malachi. ADML, it's not expensive. We're going to have to look at the notes here because I'm just going with what you, it's not stuff that's ever been on my radar. So we got to look at note breakdowns. I, I, I don't want to go completely blind into this. It's a new release. Woody Sweet Smoky Spicy Citrus. You might be onto something here, Joel. Grapefruit, cypress, sage, cardamom, lavender, fresh green aromatic, spicy, Lebanon cedar, Virginia cedar, Atlas cedar, Latuka cypress. So it's very green and woody. Got labdanum, cypriol, talk me. Ooh, and it's Alberto Maria's. I'm, I think this is a win right here, Joel. Great suggestion. I think I'll like this. We're adding that one to the cart. So we're getting up there right now. That's usually around what I spend, around 400 bucks. So we might... The Gucci's might end up getting pulled again. We're going to keep looking a little bit. We're going to pile up a few, and then we'll do some eliminations. Great suggestion, though. I, I think this is going to be a win, Joel. That looks like something I'd like. I'm going to buy. I'm definitely going to get that one. Great suggestion. That's serious, huh? Let's see what they got. I've been needing to get Shergi forever. I went through two, two of their little box samples. Over the years, I've never bought a bottle. So if I was going to buy something from Sir's Lutan, I'd probably get Shergi. This is so good, guys. Anybody that's never tried this that likes ginger, that's my favorite ginger fragrance. It's so good. 50 ml will go a long way. It's not super loud. Well, even 100 ml, 140, it's the most quality ginger I own, at least to me. I absolutely love it. But let's see, which ones are you talking about? Phil and Anguis. Anguis, is that how you say that? Where's it at? It's storming outside, by the way. It's been raining all day. It's just terrible. They don't have it in stock, nor do they have Shergi. Kind of disappointed. I know Ombre Sultan's very popular. Hmm. But not something I need. I, like I said, if I was going to get something from uh, Serge Lutin, I would really want Shergi. Hmm. I'd rather go after a brand I've, I've tried stuff from. So it pops up here and there. Pure XS, suggestion for a cheapie. That's one I've been meaning to get. I have smelled that one. Quite sweet, as with everything else from Paco Rabanne. I don't want 150 ml, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I'm out on the 150. I do like my Paco Rabanne fragrances, because I like sweet. If you like sweet, you'll like Paco Rabanne. It's the original Paco Rabanne, nothing like the modern stuff, obviously. Let's see what we got to work with here. Still got Phantom Parfum. I've never tried it. It would be a blind buy. Price is right. I was just meh on the original Phantom. Yeah, 150 ml, man. I don't want to do that. Pure XS, the old school and relaunch. You got Black XS. Hmm. No, no. If they had at least a hundred milliliter bottle, I would jump on it. But I don't want 150 ml. That's a complete. A lot of fragrances are waste for me because I don't need much. But getting that big of a bottle on something that I smelled and like, but don't necessarily think I would just wear all the time. 150 ml. I don't think is a good idea for me. It's a great suggestion. Dapper Rufa, what's going on, big dog? My super chat won't send. Well, shame on YouTube. Baldo Serini, Ultimate Man. I swear by that cheapie. 
Let me make sure I smell it right. Spell it right. Smell it right. What's wrong with me? Here we go. And I see my favorite bald bastard drop the super chat. We'll get to you in just a second, Chad. Speaking of cheapies, that's my guy, the original cheapy king. So which one are we talking? Ultimate. All right. Let's see if they got it in stock. They do not. Damn. Latafa Udain, it's Zerzhov, Alexandria, two twists. So the only reason I don't want to do that is because I have uh, Armand Jane Zandria, which is spot on Alexandria, two, and I hardly ever wear it. So it'd be a waste of, of a scent for me that I'd never reach for. That's the downside to grabbing that. If it's something that I just know I'm not going to spray, I'm, I'm not going to bother with it. But you bald bastard, $5 Canadian, good to see you. Hey, bald man, I have to censor myself because of YouTube. Lord have mercy. Oh, yeah, you can't get crazy in the comments on the su on the Super Chats, especially when there's money involved because they know they're going to get pinned. Um, I think that's what it is. They know they're going to get pinned because I, I try to put curse words and some vulgar stuff in some of the Super Chats I do, and it does the same shit to me. It won't go through. But I appreciate you, my man. February 2nd is around the corner. For those of you who don't know, flat, Chad's going to be flying down here to Florida. I'm going to drive a few hours, meet up with him, and, uh, and do some content here beginning of February. So it's going to be a good time. Literally the week before, I'll be with George Atkinson and Omas. And then the next week, I'll be with Chad. So I'm going to be around Tampa. Then the next week, back to around Tampa. <laughs> It'll be some fun. That's going to be a great two weeks. I'm excited. Thank you for Super Chat, Chad. Couldn't even say sexy. See, but in a regular comment, no big deal. I, I don't know why they don't do it on the Super Chats. It's, it's still a comment. Fig Ecstasy. That's one you've been talking about a lot lately, and I love Fig. I do love Fig, and I love Mancera. 60 ml for 68 bucks. How much is the 120 just out of curiosity? 80 So typical Mancera pricing. We'll put it in the cart for now. Let's take a look at the notes. Fig, ginger, black pepper, Indian frankincense. Boy, that sounds like a great top part of the pyramid. Shit. Fig leaf, le leather, lavender, mysore, sandalwood, cedarwood, thyme, styrax, benzoin, tonka bean, and vanilla. Woody, sweet, spicy, fruity, leathery. Yeah, that does sound pretty good. That does sound good, Giancarlo. Damn. Great suggestion. That, that's, that might... That's probably going to stay in the cart. <laughs> no, no worries, my man. I appreciate you. Like I said, then none of the this this week. It's definitely been all about us because this milestone, this channel, it ain't shit without the viewers. With you guys, without you guys, it's nothing. It's just me talking to a camera. That's some bullshit, huh, Chad? Ah, the better person to ask would be EQ, Equality Fragrances. He's a big Bodicia guy. He would probably have some better recommendations on where to do that. I've never tried anything from the house, but that's his favorite brand. He would probably know. He would be the one to ask. Apex by Fragrance World. Dupa Penhaligan's Blazing Me Sam. Warm, spicy, perfect for this time of year. Let's see what we're working with. Fragrance World Apex. So, Penhaligon's Blazing Me Sam. Normally, I wouldn't sit here and do all these note breakdowns, but you guys are talking about stuff I've never heard of. And Whoops. So, I, I don't want to go. Like, I'm, I'm rolling dice here harder than ever. Blazing Mr. Sam. Okay, so yours was a typo. The Blazing Mr. Sam. Yeah, so it was a typo. Gotcha. Spicy, sweet, woody, oriental, resinous. That sounds nice. Oh, it's a cumin fragrance. And tobacco. Ooh. Cardamom, cinnamon, saffron, black pepper, cumin. Vanilla, tobacco, cedarwood, patchouli. I'm open to it. I always throw a cheap clone in there somewhere. I always get a Fragrance World or a Latafa like for... Today it was uh, the Alhambra Glacier Bold for the live stream unboxing we did earlier. So we built up quite the resume here, which I still might end up doing that price. I might not eliminate anything. We'll see. Tariq, beautiful niche blue. Beautiful, beautiful niche blue. Oh, 
Oh, they still have it? On here, it's Dior Le Parfum for some reason. I don't know why they do that, but yeah, here you go. 185.01. They still got it. A couple bucks less than uh, wherever you were talking about earlier. There you go. And if you have any of the loyalty reward points, like right now, I've got a uh, I've got 1,865 points left because I used for that last order. I did a $50 gift card and a $10 gift card. I used a little over 4,000 points. Um, but if you have some points built up, you can use some of the Canadian dollar gift cards. You can do a 10% off. So you can get it even cheaper. I've tried Oud Royale with Justin. Um, the pepper, what salt and pepper something. I tried that one with Justin. They were both really good, especially as they dry down. So I think what I'm going to have to do is skip ahead a little bit, guys. Dapper Roof, my man. I swear by that chibi smells so damn classy. I appreciate the super chat. So I'm so far behind. I know you saw that I, I went searching for it. They just don't have it in stock, unfortunately. I do have Silver Mountain Water. I had picked it up at Marshall's uh, earlier this year when I was still in Colorado. Actually, like week and a half, two weeks, maybe three weeks, something like that before I moved here. Uh, if I had to throw a number on it, I would say in the range of 20 to 30. In that range, 20 to 30 probably. Average month, I think 20 is a, a round number. Because I probably, I buy anywhere from, just from fragrance buy, I buy anywhere from five to 10 fragrances a month. Not counting stuff that gets sent to me which is a few here and there sporadically. Um, I would say actually a better number is probably 15 to 20, I think is the average month between stuff gets sent to me and stuff that I buy. Now there's months where it might go up to 30, but that's a crazy situational month. Like uh, last month, for example, for November, I anticipate a lot of that. Like I've got some, uh, some collaborations with Ajmal. I have to do, they sent me four fragrances there. I've got four more fragrances to do with Aroma Concepts for Kudlaj's new collection. Um, I have the Vicanto fragrance and the Mind Games fragrance. Told you guys about a little while ago. Um, I have this. I'm wearing this for the first time tomorrow. Andrea Mac Magma. It's a collaboration with Twisted Lily. And that's just some of the stuff that got sent to me that I'm doing collaboration reviews on. Uh, not counting, like I said, we just brought five in here. I've got four Manceras I bought that I haven't opened. The two FOMO fragrances from Fragrance Buy that I bought that I didn't open yet. About to buy some fragrances right here. And that's just in this short, like, week to two-week time span. Meglium. I still haven't wore Elborn. I love Revolution, though. Silver in the name. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to think what else. Blitch. That's your real name? Holy shit. That's kind of wild. Dracar Noir. I'm after shower sense. It's going to be Dunhill Desire Blue. That's a damn good one. I haven't worn that one in a long time. The lychee in it offers it. It's like a... Very fruity, aquatic. Really good stuff. Suggest so Low Solo Atlas or Poor Ohm. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. They don't have anything. <laughs> they don't have nothing from the brand over here. Make me feel old now, right? I'm sorry. I don't mean to. I'm not the most young spring chicken. I'll be 39 in January. Yeah, but based on all this other stuff that I'm buying, I don't think I'll be uh, grabbing a really expensive fragrance right now. Well, before I do that, I need to put the 37% off code. So it would be even for 50. 170 is not too bad. But with that, that's one I'm going to spray more, so I would want the 100 ml. Wow, they still have an old 4-ounce. That's the one to get if you want to drop the money. Two left. That's the one to get if you want to spend the money. That's several years old. That's probably like a 2013, 2014, 2015 bottle, something like that. That's uh, for you Creed Batch Freaks. There you go. That's one you would want to get. Ibiza Nights, okay. Tennis club I debated on getting. I know that's a fresh green. I've had that in and out a few times in my cart. Orion, I had a sample of before. It's very, very smoky on my skin. Very, very smoky. Dunhill Desire Platinum. I don't have platinum or bronze. 
Yeah, I don't have those. Fig Man, yeah, I definitely have Fig Man. Fig Man's beautiful, soapy fig. Ventus and Layton. I mean, I'm not going to argue against that. Yeah, they have it, but Fragrance Buy's got it for 185. A little bit cheaper, a few dollars cheaper. Venba's where I got my 275 emails for 115. This is before Venba existed, when Kushik just had uh, spreadsheets, active spreadsheets with a, you know, live. Um, unit count changing forever when they were just selling fragrances in the Facebook groups. I got those from Kushik for 115. He had four bottles when I bought one, sprayed it, messaged him. You, you got any left? He said, I got two left. I said, I'll take another one. And I bought it right then and there. I dropped 230 on 275 mLs of Dior own parfum. This was several years ago, but yeah, this was before Venba was a thing. It's when it was Kushik and his partners selling in the Facebook groups. Get Halloween Man Mystery. I don't know if they have it. I appreciate the soup chat. I wouldn't mind checking it out, though. Yeah, I don't seem to have it. Because it just recently came out, so I'm not surprised that they don't have it in stock. They probably didn't get it yet. They'll have it eventually, and I'll definitely get it eventually. $13. I mean, I have it, but I just wanted to see what the hell is there. Oh, it's a 15 email. The hell? I appreciate the 499 Super Chat, though, Jimmy. Thank you very much. I appreciate Super Chats. I definitely contribute. That's what the Super Chat money goes to is when I buy these fragrances, actually. Fort Manley's Mr. Bozhnikov's Purple Hat. Great house. If you've never tried them, I haven't. I would say late harvest, but it's sold out. Oh, shit. Yeah, I've never tried the brand. I appreciate the Super Chat, though. So uh, who was it earlier? Ryan Bork was bringing that up, but they don't really interest me. I saw that they've got them, but they don't really interest me. That's the thing. Like nothing about them was like, ooh, I definitely need that. Maybe one day, but in the moment right now, they, they, I'm not really all that interested in them. I saw Ashton did a video. Was it today's video? In the last couple of days, I, I saw the thumbnail. I know he did a video on, on one of them anyways. Bois line from Lagerfeld. Those are some good cheapies. I've been wanting to try the, the Bois de Yuzu. Glad you brought that up. Those are some cheapies. I like some good cheapies. Let's see what they got. Bois de Yuzu. See, the tester, I don't think, has a cap, though. If I remember correctly. Somebody let me know. Does the testers have caps? Because if they don't have caps, I'll buy the 50 ml. Whoa, now. See, there you go. <laughs> Silver. So I got to skip ahead a little bit, guys. I didn't realize how far. Well, not too far behind. So I got to skip ahead just a little bit. Uh, quite different. Ani is kind of a unique vanilla. I haven't smelled another vanilla fragrance that smells like Ani. Other than clones of Ani. The Montebacco Intense. That I plan on wearing this week, Intensivo. I actually have it lined up right here. This is beautiful. Much more earthy and tobacco heavy than Verano. Verano is the more versatile one. I think this is the heavier, slightly more cooler weather appropriate. But pretty redundant to one another. So if you want heavier and earthier, Intensivo. If you want fresher, go with Verano, the blue bottle. <laughs> so they're part of the package. Like the, the, the five fragrance haul we did on the live stream earlier, that's just part of the package. I didn't want to do 11 fragrances because uh, I got the two FOMO fragrances I haven't done yet. And then this is going to be a recorded video. I got Silver Blue, Black Prestigium, Wild Fruits, been wanting to get, and Sand Dude. <laughs> I decided to pull the trigger on that one. Slowly building my ridiculous Mancera collection. I love Mancera. What is y'all's signature scent? Hey, any truck drivers here? Let them know. Live again. Yeah, I decided to do a little fragrance shopping. We actually have a bigger crowd this evening to go fragrance shopping than we did unboxing fragrances at three. I know when I go live at three central, it's not ideal for most of you guys at work. I get it. 
Uh, but it it just it works best for me. It's kind of a block where I'm pretty much the only one in the community going live around that time. Um, and it really just I don't know. I, I enjoy it. Part of my day, it's become routine for me. So I apologize to anybody that never gets to join live because of the time that I do it. But you never know when I'll do something random like this and we can we can chop it up for a little while. Prize bond number nine, Lafayette Street. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I've never tried it. That's great. That's dense black licorice and powdery. Really, really good stuff. I don't own that one. I've been wanting to get Lyric Man. My decant ran out years ago. I haven't smelled Lyric Man in like four years at this point. It's been a while. Cafe Rose. Nah, not really interested in that one. Yeah, that, that's kind of wild. I agree. Dental Fluidity Silver. That's a great fragrance. I have I have a decant of it. I have It's part of a discovery set. Uh, it's still going to be makeup and powdery. It's more so on Diorum Intense. It's more intensified of that smell, but you're still going to get that in Diorum Parfum. It's darker and more animalic and based around a leather accord, but you're still going to get it. You're still going to get that waxy, powdery stuff. You just won't like the, any of them, really, except the woody ones. But the iris-based ones, they're not going to be for you. <clears throat> kind of a mix between Mandarino, Diamalfi, and Artisan Pure. Ooh. Dunhill. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've looked at that one. It's, uh, I think, like 60, 70 bucks. Mm. Should come up. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, 65. There you go. I'd be down to get that. I know. Let's see. Mandarino Diamalfi, which I have Mandarino Diamalfi Aqua and Artisan Pure. So it might be super redundant for me to get. I'll put it in the cart for now. There's a few of those, like an Indian Patchouli or a Smoke or something like that. I forgot which one it is. But I need to scroll down and see if anybody answered me on the cap for this. If the testers have a cap, I'll buy the tester. Not sure which Margellas you have. Top five. I have by the fireplace. I have Jazz Club. I, I've smelled Coffee Break. It's phenomenal. Never tried Whispers in the Library and Autumn Vibes. And I have uh, at the Barbers. What's up, Rick? I don't know who said One Million Ood wasn't very much like the original One Million, but they're insane. No, the DNA is there. It's basically Middle Eastern One Million. That's how I, that's the simplest way to put it. It's Middle Eastern 1 million. It's like mixing a little bit of like what makes Ferragamo oud so uh, spicy and leathery or stronger with you oud, a little bit of that essence to it. Like it doesn't smell exactly like it, but kind of like the spicy leatheriness, that that type of oud mixed with 1 million. There you go. You get you get golden oud. I think golden oud's their best release this year. I think it's better than Royal. And I like Royal. I still like Royal. But I think Gold Nude's better. It does come with the cap. Thank you, Raph. Okay. We're adding the tester. Okay. We've got a lot of fragrances in here. Not everything's going to make this purchase. Sell from Comme de Garçon. Ultimate Office Fragrance Soap Bomb. Mm, I got a ton of soapy, heavy fragrances. I mean, I got a ton of citruses, too. Let's Let's at least take a look at it. How about that? Is it two L's? It is. Apparently, I don't have it. Let's see if they just have Comme de Garçon in general. We'll go from there. I was trying to type the name of the fragrance in. It was not working. Let's see. What's the name you got here? Marcial. Doesn't look like they have it. Yeah, they don't have it, unfortunately. I appreciate the recommendation, though. Blue Trigger and Dior Intense. I hope it's good. You got to like very powdery and sweet. Keep that in mind. Butt fragrance, my. Let's see what's in stock. Shall we? Okay. So I have the poor ohm right there, which Justin's a big fan of. Let's see, Vanetta Loro. Parco, 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 Parco. I don't see it. Am I missing it? Okay, here we go, Loro. Wow. 
yeah, I don't want to drop 200 on one because I'm like, I'm trying to get a variety of mid-level stuff right now. That's my favorite. I'm a designer guy at heart anyway. I gotta be really captivated by something niche to just go buy some niche, which I do, but I gotta be like really be excited about it basically. And that's something I've never even looked into. So I'm not saying that I'm sure it's quite nice. Um, it's just not something that I'm just gonna pull the trigger on right now, unfortunately. Long time watcher, first time commenter. Hope you and yours are well. I second. Boar's purple hat, phenomenal scent. Let, let's see if they got it. Let's see what they have in stock. They selling all the queens. Here it is. One forty-seven for fifty ml. So it's it's a little higher end price range on what I wanted to do. So let's, I got to look at it. I don't want to go into it blind. This is not blind by safe kind of stuff for me. Should come up with just those few. Here we go. Gourmand. Ooh, you lost me already. Cause I'm not a big gourmand guy. Love the label though. Label looks great. Gourmand, woody, floral, spicy, smoky. I do like the overall set of accords here. Vanilla, French lavender, oud, cedar with dark chocolate. I bet it's a sexy smell, though. That breakdown in those accords sounds like it would be. But I think that's one I would want to sample first. Because I don't wear gourmands a lot. Don't get me wrong. It's the time of year for me to reach for them. I've been wearing a few lately. I'd have to sample that one first. That's not one I want to just roll the dice on. And I believe you guys, it's probably fantastic. The note pyramid, the little bit of note pyramid it has with the accords. It seems like it would be delicious, but I only go for delicious fragrances so often. Nui Parfum. Mm, I think we've got a ton of stuff already in the card. I might, <laughs> might have to start eliminating a few things here. So you got to pay attention to the live stream. He told you what the deal was. It's three videos over the next three days for the three giveaways. And then we did some live giveaways uh, that I contributed earlier, some Central Obsessions uh, discovery sets that I'm sending out to him Monday for him to give to the winners. But yeah, you got to go watch the live stream, man. he give you the details and the directions on how it's going. Noted. Yeah, yeah, I'll never go through all of my Manceras, ever, ever, ever. Lyric Man is phenomenal. It's one of the better roses I've ever smelled. It's up there with Rosé and Adonis. It's number three for me. It's funny that you say that, because Rosé and Adonis Awakens are my one and two, and then Lyric Man's my number three. Yeah, Oud Black Candy. I've had it for a while. I bought it from Hillary um, earlier in the year. She was selling off, doing spring cleaning, as she called it. It was around springtime. And I saw she had it, and I, I scooped it off of her for a good price. And her 50 ml of uh, Virgin Island water. It's a 2018 bottle. Stout. It's stout. <laughs> Sorry, man. Didn't know that you, you live stream. Oh, yeah, I've been live streaming for a while now. I've got several. Several. I live stream uh, when I'm traveling two to three times a week, but the regular schedule is four live streams a week. I've been doing that for a long time. Go to in the summer. See, I've been wanting to get Bois de Yuzu. That's the I've looked at that one before. I'm sure the Vetiver one's good and all that, but that's the one for me. I've been wanting a Bois de Yuzu. Turn me on to the niche fragrance, Secret Water, and it's more of an indie fragrance, more so than niche, because uh, it's it's loaded with Embroxin, so it's hard to say something loaded down with Embroxin's all that niche and quality. But for being an Embroxin fragrance, I would say it's pretty good quality. But, yeah, it's beautiful. It's a great fragrance. I wore it last week. It's good stuff. He definitely did a good job with it. Number one in the cart right now. Might be the Chapard fragrance that, uh, that Joel suggested. That one looked really, really good. Let's go back to that. There it is. Cedar Malachi. Look at that note breakdown. Woody, sweet, smoky, spicy, citrus. Bunch of greens and woods. Cipriol, man. I, I like a good Cipriol oil, this earthy green tone. The labdanum must be a little on the smoky side because smoky is the third ranked main accord. I, when I, when Joe, Joel pointed me in the direction of this, I was like, and I saw it. I was like, man, 
that does look like something I would really like. So, yeah, I think that's my number one in the cart right now. Uh, if I had to pick something else that I think I'm most excited about would probably be Bulgari Porom Extreme because I'm enjoying the original so much. The original's been on my hand for literally, because it's 10, 11 Central. I sprayed it on at about 3.15, about seven, almost in four minutes, it'll be seven hours since it's been on my hand. And I've washed my hands once. And it's still going. It's not just a faint skin scent. It's not projecting heavy like it was in the live stream earlier. But it's still going. I would say six to eight hours. It's probably going to fall off a cliff here in the next hour or so. Um, but that's great. Six to eight hours. Eh? Hell yeah. I'll take that every time for any fragrance. And I'm off key to my dreams this morning. Rifaka is really good. Now that I've gotten to try Baby Cat... It is really good. It just can't touch YSL Baby Cat's quality. It just can't touch it. It is great for what it is. It is. It's one of my favorite clones I've gotten this year. Top five clone of the year for me. But this is another situation where the original is that much better, but the original way the hell more expensive. Way more expensive. No, I don't have any Morsk fragrances. Well played. Let's see. Gris Charnel dupe. You said it's pretty good. Yeah, Joel's the one for that. Scrolling down. Let's scroll down a little bit. So you have to keep in mind that it's got a prominent oud. Not the most natural oud in the world, but it's got an oud funk. Honey, cinnamon, vanilla, powdery, ambery, but it does have an oud funk. It is my favorite Montal fragrance. Uh, it's a monster performer, too. I mean, crazy strong. But it's amazing. Just know that there is some oud funk to it. But it's almost like a mystical scent in some ways. Because it is a honey amber vanilla scent with oud. You got to keep that in mind. The cinnamon's pretty... The way I've usually described it is picture a pile of oud chips. Now drizzle honey over it. Sprinkle cinnamon and shave some vanilla. Whatever that concoction would be. I bet you that's what the hell... That it smell exactly like honey oud from Mancero. I pulled that out the cart recently. Justin intrigued me with his take on it. Let's see if they still have it in stock. They still have it in stock. I don't need 100 ml, though. But they still have it in stock. It's like an earthy caramel fragrance. The way he described it, it was very intriguing. Justin's good for selling me on certain fragrances. He definitely sold me on this one. Glad you brought it up. I didn't even think about it. I believe it's like some earthy notes and some caramel. Smoky, woody, sweet, spicy. Yeah, caramel charred wood. We might have to do that. Put it there for now. We'll be doing some elim eliminations in a little bit. Let's have at least rose suede and lime. Check the notes at least. I don't see rose suede. Is is it this fragrance? At least rose suede and lime. Oh, you're talking about French leather. How bad? I would confuse myself with that. Where's it at? There it is. Yeah, rose water, suede, lime, cedar. Because I've tried ocean leather and uh, African leather. Do they have a rose leather or something like that as well? We got rose water and suede here. Claire says Styrax, juniper, musk, pink, pepper, vetiver. I bet it's good. I bet it is good. That rose water note sounds interesting. Mm, I'd want to sample this one first, though. That's the thing. I would want to sample this one. That is a damn good raw honey. That's way safer than honey oud. They're both they're both magical fragrances, but I've I've said this recently when somebody was like, "Oh my God, over Orem." So Orem's a more mass appealing 
honey heavy fragrance. I think more people will like it. Whereas honey oud is more challenging because it's got a distinctive oud funk. Not everybody's going to like that. The average, the average person that hasn't really dabbled in, in like, you know, moderate level ouds might be turned off by the fragrance, even though it's got honey and vanilla and cinnamon as the main, main accords and notes you'll smell. So I would say that's probably the two best honey fragrances I own. And those are the two biggest distinctions between them. They're not the same honey fragrance. One's a delicious dessert like honey amber. The other is delicious honey amber with funk. Oud funk. you got to keep that in mind. They're both magical, but they're totally different personalities. Totally different. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Alpine Home Sport and Allure Home Sport. I'm, I'm sure Alpine Home Sport sounds like something that would be a clone of Allure Home Sport based on the name. But I'm sure, yeah, getting the clone of the original, definitely redundant. First Instinct Together is good stuff. I like to wear that one in the evening, too. Okay. So let's scroll down. Hidden Gems, what's going on, big dog? Bentley Black's at least eight on your scale, Ross. Better keep it. Well, I'm going to keep the Bentleys in there. Sample of Baby Cat on the way. I'm afraid I'm going to love it. That's what I was afraid of, too. Is there anywhere it's not 400 plus? That's the downside, man. It's so good. It's one of the best. It's up there. It's easily in my top 10, possibly in my moves into my top five, but I got to do some full wearings before I can give it that. What's the one cologne that had the hype behind it was a complete letdown? Uh, I wouldn't call it a complete letdown, but one that doesn't deserve the hype it gets is S-Boy by Draco for him. It's an overpriced designer level fragrance. Like it smells like mid-level designer quality. It smells really good. Sweet powdery, a little bit of BR540 vibes. Like it's, it is good. I could see people getting compliments with it and ladies like it and wife likes it. I get all that, but it's not 200 plus dollar fragrance. That's the thing where it's a letdown is I think it's over, way overpriced. I think it's an $80 fragrance that they could retail for like 120 and have some discounts to bring it to 80 bucks. And I could see it being totally fine. But 250 or whatever it is, 230 and then discounts, it's too high priced. It's nothing like either of what? Because Honey Oud, no, not really. But what other one are you talking about? Oh, like this. Looks interesting. But no, neither. Yeah. Tobacco Honey by Guerlain I haven't tried. But that's a tobacco fragrance. Orange is not a tobacco fragrance. Um, and then Naxos, again, that's a tobacco fragrance. No. So, yeah, you're you're talking tobacco fragrances. No. They don't smell like orange. Definitely not. I, I know what Naxos smells like. I'm familiar with Naxos, but I've never tried tobacco honey. But, again, tobacco fragrances, not not the same. Those, those are a bit different from uh, Orem's more of a baklava dessert-like type of fragrance uh, that turns into a sticky amber. It's raw honeycomb, cinnamon, almond, hazelnut, stuff like that. It's a, yeah, a little bit different. No tobacco. Ooh, you're going to have a hell of a shave. Rosé set, that's my favorite set to shave with. Ooh, we could always look at Vertus. Now, that's ones I don't mind spending a little bit on. Hmm. Let's see what they got in stock. I've been, I kind of had my eye on Chaos. Is it in stock? It's not in stock because I saw it before I clicked in stock. Damn it. Fresh Orient. Let's look at some notes. Green Aquatic Citrus Woody Fruity. Sounds pretty easy going, right? Green leaves, black currant, grapefruit, bergamot, cashmere, magnolia, jasmine, lily. So very floral heart with some soft wood. Amber, cedar, musk, vetiver. So a lot of woods here. Green leaves. I bet that's a good springtime scent. Maybe. Let's say maybe. <clears throat> what about paradox? I think that's a darker scent, if I remember correctly. Because I've looked through note breakdowns of Vertus a few times. Because I'm in love with what I've tried from the house. Fruity notes, green notes, spicy notes. All right, what a, what a breakdown. Jasmine, Lily of the Valley, Pepper Rose, Labdanum, Sandalwood, Vanilla Vetiver. So fresh oriental, spicy green. 
That one sounds pretty damn good too, right? So what else we got here? Rose Privé, Oriental Rose. What about Oriental Rose? I like Orientals. Cardamom, Frankincense, Lavender, Lemon, Saffron, Violet, Clove. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. I like Clove. I know some people hate it. I like Clove. Gaiac Wood, Heliotrope, Iris, Patchouli Rose, Amber, Cedar, Musk, Sandalwood, Vanilla, Vetiver. Um, yes. I think I might like this one a lot. Where's it at? 95 bucks too. Not too shabby. I think I'm going to buy it. I think we've done enough shopping here, guys. I think it's time for some eliminations. I think it's time. Ooh, um, Arancia de Capri, uh, Bergamotto de Calabria, Colonia Pura is my favorite. Um, there's so many I haven't tried. They have such a diverse library. Um Myrtle di Panerai and Chinotto di Liguria, Blue Mediterranean series. I got a lot of those at Plus Colonia Pura um, as far as my top five. But of what I have, that's my top five. Four, uh, four Blue Mediterranean line fragrances and then Colonia Pura. Good stuff. Tomato leaves, always a good note. Uh, Brioni Essential, the newest release. It's got a prominent tomato leaf. Okay, thank you. Yeah, for sure. Totally. If you have those and you like those, it's not. It's. I, I've never smelled the Guerlain, but I can tell you right now, it's not the same because it's a tobacco fragrance. See, that's a good price. That's good. I want a seventy-five ml though. Oud wood intense. Yeah, I ain't dropping that kind of money, Bilbo. He and I have had this conversation privately, guys. That's why he's trying to be funny right now. Shout outs to Bilbo. A lot of you don't know, Bilbo is quite active on Instagram. If you ever want to have a good talk, yeah, I'm throwing people your way. <laughs> Polo Sport Bold. Still a keep around. Polo Sport Bold? I've never heard of Polo Sport Bold before. Is that an, actually a thing? I've never heard of a bold flanker. You know, it makes sense that it's not there because I've never heard of that. Somebody else might have to weigh in. I've never tried it. Get those likes up a bit more. What we're looking like, one hundred three. I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad at it. So you see how bad the resolution is on there. I got it low so it doesn't suck up any bandwidth. It's on a one forty four p, lowest resolution I could put it on. I I'm not sure. Monarch is a must try. Let's we'll see if they haven't. I don't think they had it in stock though. Yeah, they didn't have it in stock. It's not even coming up. Yeah, they don't, they don't have it. What's up, Eric? Just throwing must therapy out the shower. Purchase baby cat from Vimba as well. Buy another Vertus. I know it's going to be sold out. Well, I'm not buying it to try to sell it out for anybody. Orem's quite unique, right, Rick? And yet, and I already told George, I said Coco Loco is going to be in my niche releases of the year because it's just so vi I always use the word vibrant when I talk about that. It's such a fun fragrance. I wore it a couple nights ago again. Um, it, it's tough to edge out Orem as his release of the year for me, but it could have been either. And I'm sure anybody else that does their you know best releases of 2023, whether it's niche or just overall, I'm sure Orem's going to be in there for several people. Um, and it's beautiful. It's a stunning. I keep it right here. It's not on the shelf with the rest of the Zahara fragrances. It is right the hell here. Pull the cap and sniff it all the damn time. Shit. It is. <laughs> it is pretty damn good. But for me, Coco Loco was so special for the summer. It really was. And it really fits the theme of my, my move in the summer. It's like I got a some mem some scent memory and, and everything tied to it. That That's what makes Coco Loco edge it out for me this year. But overall, it's hard to argue that it's not like his third. Like, So, okay, this is going to sound contradictory. I get it. But I just told you why Coco Loco for me for this year. But overall, from the house, I think it's Rosé Leather Tobacco Orem's his top three. Coco Loco is just a special summer for me. 
is why I feel the way I feel about it, you know? So that's why it's, it's going to be released in the year. Uh, so I grew up an LSU fan, Saints and LSU, that's the home teams, but I'm also grew up a North Carolina fan. My brother went to Tulane. I lived in Colorado, so I support the Buffaloes. So when it comes to college, that's the colleges I root for. I lived in Houston. I have a couple, you know, uh, U of H Cougar hats. Um, let's see. As far as football, obviously diehard Saints fan. That's my but I do support the Ravens and the Dolphins. That's my AFC teams. I've always liked more so the Ravens. With baseball, I don't have a team. Technically, Astros and Braves, but we never had a team in Louisiana. So I just I'm more logos than anything when it comes to baseball. Basketball, I'm a Pelicans fan. You know, home team. I was a Hornet when we had the Hornets. I was a Charlotte Hornets fan before they became New Orleans Hornets. And then when they turned into the Pelicans, obviously I became a Pelicans fan. But I do like the Spurs and the Rockets as well. I like a lot of Texas teams. <clears throat> no breakdown for why a cur from equi is how you say that technically. It's uh, for Vertus. Okay. Should come up just from that. Woody Fresh, Leathery, Smoky, Spicy. Okay, that sounds good. And it's got an Ivy note, which I'm a huge fan of, in um, Eden from Parody to Sins. Apple, Ivy, Bergamot, Grapefruit, Clary, Sage. That sounds like a great opening. Amber, Cedar, Cyclamen, Jasmine, Lavender, Patchouli, and Amalek Notes. Oud, Fur, Balsam, Leather, Musk, Oak, Moss, Sandalwood, Tonka, Bean, Vanilla. Shit, what are they saying it's similar to? Fresh sandalwood from Zara. <laughs> well, okay then. I didn't see that coming. This does sound like a good breakdown, though. It does sound good. I mean, I could just buy freaking Vertus fragrances, really. Vertus is just such a great, great house. Night Dose. Fresh Orient. Oh, look at Fresh Orient. Or Amber. Okay. Oriental Rose, I'm definitely buying. That looks really good. Silhouette. They just have so many good ones. But we got 13 fragrances in the car. We got to do some elimination, guys. I haven't. I haven't tried any of the newer uh, duos in a long It's been a long time. Show us how many fragrance buy points you have. Oh, so I only have 1,800 right now, Rick. I used a little over 4,000 on the last haul. I only got 1865 right now. But the last haul, which was the five fragrances from today's um, live stream from earlier, those five, the four Manceras I didn't open up yet, these two FOMO fragrances, because I already had Gary's then, but it made me want to get the others. And then uh, another one that came in was Prada Amber Intense for the member giveaway, so I can send that out. Um, so I used a little over 4000 because it's thirty seven fifty, I think, for the $50 gift card, and then I bought another $10 gift card. So I usually let them get to where I can get at least four $10 gift cards or hit the $50 one before I use any of my points. <clears throat> but I use my points. I definitely use the shit. I think I've done enough shopping, he says. Yeah, I mean, I, I got to eliminate some of this. I'm not buying all of this. Night, <laughs> late night splurge, I approve of this. I figured you would, Dave. I figured you would. I appreciate the crowd that we have. Got 113 likes. You're not going to hear me complain. I guess uh, we don't need to bother with anything from Fragrance Net because I do like the uh, the cart that we've assembled here. The problem is I got to eliminate some things because I'm not buying all of it. I'm not dropping uh, $788. If I was going to drop that, I'd just soon buy Baby Cat and get two or three of these because <laughs> I do want Baby Cat, but I'm not dropping 788 today. I'll probably drop around 400 Make sure Lolita Limpica stays in your car. Well, that was the first one. So we'll leave it in there because it was the first suggestion. And it's been requested a lot. Uh, no, they don't. <laughs> they don't. I buy a lot of stuff from them, guys. I really do. I mean, they collaborate with the channel. They support. They help support the channel. Uh, I do a monthly video with them. But I pretty much like exclusively, not exclusively, but majority of my purchases, I spend my money back with them most of the time. You know, because I mean, I love Fragrance Buy. Most, most of you guys shop with Fragrance Buy too, I'm sure. Fragrance Buy is a great spot, great company, great rep that I deal with. Just great. You're going to get a Glock or Beretta. Ooh, that's tough. Depends on the caliber you want. 
and if it's going to be a concealed carry or, or just something you take to the range or, or what. So disagree that Oxalacea Forte smells an askew. Well, that is your opinion, sir, because I feel like Torino 21 is just a spicier Aqua Celestia Forte. I disagree. Respectfully disagree right back with you, sir. I, I want to say I've smelled it maybe one time with Andrea, but I don't really remember it. I've got four fragrances from them, but I mean, I'm you're not going to find them at Fragrance Buy. They don't hit the gray market. Not over here anyways. Yeah, all four of the Brionis I have are great. Yeah, we're gonna do an we're gonna do an unboxing like we always do. They're gonna have a Boxing Day sale, so I'll probably buy more fragrances for that later in the month too. Still on the hunt for a good niche. So Spectra Ghost is really good. I just did a review on it this past week. Spectra Ghost from Fragrance World. They did a good job. I, I still would recommend getting Ani though. Save a little bit more and just get the real one. The real deal is that much better. Oud Noir. I've already got such a loaded down cart that we need to eliminate some stuff from, though. We got a lot. We got a lot in here. I'm not buying 13 fragrances tonight. <laughs> Should give you a shopper list, affiliate link for your supporters, show how Apple has celebrity playlists. So anytime you guys make an order through any of the affiliate links, I, I don't know who ordered, but I know what gets ordered. Like there's a breakdown on the website for the affiliates and everything where you can see this many fragrances were ordered. It's in this Canadian dollar amount. It shows if disc, if, if discounts were used or not, and it shows what was ordered in the order. It just doesn't show names and all it keeps your privacy safe. Like I have no idea who's ordering what, unless you guys tell me and I can just go cross reference and be like, Oh, there's Spencer's order. Oh, there's climatics order. That literally happened with climatic. He's like, Hey, eliminate one. And I'm making an order. After the stream, I looked, I'll be damned. He sure did make an order through my, my affiliate link. So I appreciate that. That goes a long way to help support the channel. I really do appreciate you guys. <clears throat> All right. We scroll down a little bit because we're going we're gonna to jump into this. With the exception of Vanilla Ooh, there aren't very videos on Virtus content ideas. So I, I did feature Oda Cyan in one video, two videos. And uh, but aside from that, it's just been vanilla oud a bunch of times for me. Somewhat, somewhat, it's spicier. It's not exactly the same fragrance. It smells like powdery Lamal, more so than Diorome. They do once a month. That's what I was just saying. They they collaborate with the channel. They sponsor a video once a month. That was uh, the Black Friday video this past month. Mm -hmm. Yep, once a month. They they partner with the channel, so that's what I'm saying. I, they're they're good to they're good to the channel. I try to have the channel be good to them, right back. You know, I love the partnership with Fragrance Buy. <laughs> I'll be damned, yeah, for sure. Yeah, but eighty bucks that's crazy. I'm sure there's one out there, but Versace Pour Homme's not expensive, man. Just buy Versace Pour Homme. Fifty ml is thirty four bucks. A two hundred ml is sixty eight dollars. <laughs> you know, I just just buy Versace Pour Homme, my man. So, with that said, let's eliminate some fragrances here. So, I'm definitely getting Vertus Oriental Rose and Lolita Limpica Green Lover because that was the first one requested. It's been requested a bunch, and that was the first suggestion. So, those two aren't moving. Body Yuzu staying. I think I'm going to leave Noir Absolute, the newest posture Cartier flanker. That's staying too. I think I'm going to eliminate Amalfi Citrus for now and get that at a later date. The Gucci's are getting eliminated again. They got eliminated the last two orders. I keep wanting to get them, but I keep pulling them out. So those two are going. I want to leave the Bentleys. I want to get Bulgari Pour on Extreme. Fig Ecstasy, though. Hmm. That's now it's getting tough. Now it's getting tough. See, that looks so good. That looks so good. But I can get it later. It's not a big hurry. 
We're going to eliminate Fig Ecstasy for right now. I forgot who it was suggested it. Um, was it John Carlo? Sorry if that was heartbreaking, my man. Definitely keeping Shepard, Cedar Malachi. That was a great suggestion, Joel. I'm excited about that one. <clears throat> Been meaning to get these Bentleys for a long time. I'd like to get it closer to 400 bucks tonight. That's usually around what I spend when I order from Fragrance Buy in the realm. I mean, I've spent over 500 a few, you know, several times, but I try to keep it three to 400 range most of the time. Apex can go for now. It's kind of what it is. I don't really want to eliminate anything else. I'm buying these. I'm not buying them on screen with you guys. You guys don't need to see that, <laughs> you know. Uh, but, you know, let's go ahead and pull this down. So what's going to get bought tonight after we end this stream, which I'm going to hang with you guys for a few more minutes. I want to make sure because I see bandwidth dropping. Okay, we're good. So I'm going to hang with you guys for a few more minutes before I do this. But after we get off the stream, I'm going to go ahead and check out. But I'm going to get Vertus Oriental Rose, Pasha de Cartier Noir Absolute. Lagerfeld, Bois de Yuzu, Ben wanted to get that. Chapard, Cedar Malachi, Bentley Absolute, Bentley Black, Bulgari Pour Ohm Extreme, because I was so impressed by Bulgari Pour Ohm today that I would love to get the Extreme. It's still there. And Lolita Limpica, Green Lover, which has been suggested and recommended and asked about to death on this channel. Look at Lazarus with the big super chat, 50 bucks. My man, I appreciate the donation. That definitely goes towards this the super chats and super stickers and super thanks, all that money. That's part of what goes to the, the fragrance fund uh, for the stuff I buy every month. You're less like a reviewer and just a professional amateur fragrance fan. I'll take it. It sounds like a compliment. I like it. And over the years, you somehow remind us that you're just one of the gang. Just wanted to say thanks. Congrats on hundred K. Keep the vids coming, man. Thank you so much. That's super generous. That's a huge super chat. Very, very generous. And I appreciate you. It was good to see you. I know it's been a little while since you've been around. I know you come and go, but you've been here since the beginning. You've been here and since the first 500 subscribers. So I appreciate you. Thank you very much for the super chat. It was very generous. I always just add stuff to the wish list and rough draft. So I've eliminated a lot of my wish list. There's only like five fragrances on there right now. There was like 50 on there at one point, just on fragrance buy. The green one. Do you mean the one that goes teal to yellow, Vita Loca? Because that's phenomenal. And I would say yes, but that's the only Mandarina duck fragrance I have. Poor Gucci's always in the cart, never get that's that's legitimately what happens. Because it's not just it's not Gucci, it's those two fragrances. Because I recently bought the Eau de Parfum and the Parfum, they're right here. Because I wanted those more, you know. And I bought uh Cologne and O in the spring. So I bought four Gucci Guilty flankers this year, and Joe hooked me up with a tester of Gucci Guilty Absolute. So I got five Gucci Guilty flankers this year. So favorite pickups of the year? This is going to be the hardest year I've ever had to do that video. I might have to do more than 10. I've picked up too much good shit. And I don't mean stuff that was sent to me. I mean shit that I bought. I've bought a lot of cool shit as far as fragrances this year. So... I, man, I appreciate you. I greatly appreciate it. Professional amateur. How you like that? That oxymoron contradictory thing. I love it. I love it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Heading out dump. Jonathan, love Bulgari. They make grain bang for your butt fragrances. Gucci Black is great for the spring. Would you consider a good price for vanilla oud aside from fragrance buy? Anywhere from 120 to 150 is the sweet spot. Anything over 150, wait. You can find it under 150. Now, if it's like 153 or 154, totally fine. I mean, going 160, 170, don't, I wouldn't pay that. Um, you can get it under 150 most time. Hell, when they get it in stock, it's usually like 120 something, like 123, but they limit one per customer. They, they're hip to the game on the hype. That's one thing you got to remember. Fragrance Buy is hip to the game on the hype. They work with a lot of channels. You know, so they, they, they watch content. Fragrance Buy watches content, so they know what's hot. And they try to keep that stuff stocked. And if it's really hot, they limit one per customer. So people aren't buying them to resell. And they want people to genuinely enjoy the fragrances, which I respect. I like that they do that. If you ever notice there's a hot restock, and when you go to buy it, it says limit one per customer. We'll cancel any orders that have more than one. They sure will cancel your order. I haven't tried that one yet. One of the releases from this year. 
Uh, I'm not coming out with beard oil. I'm not a beard oil guy. I don't really use beard oil. That's the thing. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I mean, not that they're up for awards, just that they're up for awards there. <laughs> they got 129 before cart discounts. Yeah, that's. I think that's what it was when they had it in stock for the Black Friday deals. So I would suggest um, Eau de Spice Extreme from Fragrance World. It's closer to Spice Bomb Extreme. You're going to spend more than 20, the 22 bucks Spice and Black Vanilla cost, but it's closer. You're going to spend 35 It's not much more, but it's more accurate. I did a full review on that one recently, too. It's, it's more accurate to Spice Bomb Extreme. Ooh, that's a good one. If you like Iris, I like that more than Dior Homme Intense for sure. It falls in the same family as fragrances like Dior Homme Intense, Valentino Woman Intense, um, Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Parfum. Like they all fall in the same family. And I think of those, it's the best one. My number two would be Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Parfum. But that's ju just my opinion, obviously. Sandy, I'm so glad you came to stop by. I haven't talked to you in forever. It's so good to see you, my man. I hope you're well. That's a great cheapy pickup. That's one of my favorite cheapy pickups of the year. That's definitely going to be in the best cheapy pickups video. I love doing the December videos, guys. There's going to be a lot of list topics this month, more than usual, because it's my best of annual videos for best of the year for this, that, this, that, this, that. Love doing it. Been doing it every year since I started the channel. I found high. Uh, that's true. Kind of like a, a, a kind of a twist on Aqua Cinziali Blue. It's true. Let's look. Let's see if they got it. Highness green, highness blue. 62. Yeah. I'm not I'm not dropping that on uh on an off non fragrance when I got all this cool shit in the cart right now. Nah, not tonight. Hugo Boss sent absolute good CIs because Notino has a good deal. Uh it's a very rich CIs. The Meninka in that one comes across a bit boozier than the others in the line. With a nice warm ambery vetiver, it's amber vetiver uh, to go with the Meninka. It's very nice, great evening fragrance. Good for the cold. You can absolutely wear it during the day in the cold. I wear all the Boston scent fragrances in the cold during the day. But year-round dinner dates and stuff, beautiful. Going to separate you. I highly doubt you chicks ever smell a guy wearing that. Good stuff. Good good stuff. I don't care if 20 bucks, that one slaps. Well, me and Lucky, me and my fiance are obsessed. That's a beautiful, sweet honey. Very designer-like. And when I say that, it's more synthetic, obviously. It's not going to be on the level of an orum and a honey oud and stuff like that. Uh, but it's also not near the price of those, which orum's not crazy. Nor is honey oud, really. But that's a much more mass appealing. Like, I'm, I'm not surprised that you and your lady are enjoying it. It's a compliment getter. I think it is a wonderful fragrance. It's... I think become my favorite Valentino. I haven't been wearing it, but I pretty much every day pull the cap and sniff it. That uh, kind of earthy apple. It smells like Ambroxan spices and apple at the top and dries into this like earthiness that doesn't distinctively smell like a bunch of tobacco, but I know it's a tobacco oil. On my skin, it doesn't come across as super tobacco heavy, but it adds a nice dark, rich, earthy tone. It's beautiful. This is such a good fragrance. I like it more than Yellow Dream. More than both Born in Roma and Born in Roma Intense. So good. I like it more than Womo, Womo Intense, Womo Aqua. This is the one. This is definitely the one. Pure Excess Night, but can't find it under 200 so it must be discontinued if it's that kind of price. And I've never smelled it. I'll talk to Joel. <clears throat> Moderate Siage. Yeah, it's not crazy strong, but it's thick. It's it's a thick aroma, I find. It's not going to scream. Your projection's not crazy heavy, but Siage, I find, is pretty dense. But that could just be on me. I have not. A bunch of people have asked me about it. I think you have asked me about it, actually. Doing great. Enjoyed this stream. Looking forward to the ones in December. Well, I appreciate you so much, Sandy. Sandy, I would love, 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 love if you keep an eye out for when my silver play button comes in. I ordered it today. Because uh, I'm going to unbox that live, and uh, you've been an important part of the journey for me. Cannoli Mafia, for anybody that doesn't know, I met Sandy in California when me and George uh, did an event at Door Prestige. 
we got that that Corvette purist, Corvette lover brotherhood, you know, kind of thing going on. Sandy was a great guy. It was great to talk to him. I'd love if you'd be able to make it. I'd love to have you there. Um, that's going to be probably the most Im important to me stream I've ever done is opening that with you guys. I'd love for you to be here if you can, Sandy. If not, all good. Totally understand. I'm just happy you were able to be here tonight. It's great to see you chatting up in, in the live stream, my man. I hope you have an awesome weekend. I've never tried that. Moschino Toy Boy. It's a beautiful fragrance. I want to try more Carolina Herreras. No, because I only have three from them. I can't. I can't do I got to get my step my Zerge off game up. I do. I need to step my game up. Boss Magnetic from an official site. Don't look like eBay for fragrance purchases. Don't like eBay. So I buy a lot of stuff from eBay. Depends on the seller. You got to find the right sellers. One Perfumes, Forever Lux, Perfume Empire, E-Discount Perfumes. Uh, they, they got a bunch of them that are good. Uh, Beauty Nuevo. Uh, I bought from a ton of really good sellers over the years. Hell, I would say a fifth of the fragrances I've bought in this collection behind me have been bought on eBay. I've only gotten screwed once. Blue de Chanel Parfum. That's when I learned you don't buy Chanel on eBay. Because if it's too good to be true in price, it is. It's fake. Yeah, I got scammed. I got a fake one time in the hundreds of fragrances I bought on eBay. I was pissed, too. Ooh, so their version of Code, Armani Code, is better than actual Armani Code. It's better ingredients, and it lasts longer. Now I'm talking Code EDT, the original Armani Code. Um, what's another really good one? Citrus Neroli, believe it or not, and my wife loves it. She wears it all the time. She's gone through like a third of her bottle of a citrus Neroli is Neroli Portofino. It's their version. It lasts longer than the Tom Ford. It smells about the same in quality because they use good oils. I got to say, Dacia uses good oils. Citrus Neroli is really, really, really good. That's the favorite in the household. Uh, my actual favorite for me, they don't make anymore. It's called Fresh Woody Number no. 4. That was before they started using different names. That was Polo Blue Eau de Parfum. It was higher quality and longer lasting than actual polo blue eau de parfum whereas the the polo blue they have now is a version of the edt which is still longer lasting than polo blue edt but their version of polo blue edp was just so good i got quite the dent that's the dossier bottle i have the biggest dent in it's amazing um their version of probably one of the carbons pretty good i didn't care for it the first time i tried it the second time around it was it, it was much better I don't know if it was what was going on the first time I tried it. The second time, it just seemed so much more accurate. Maybe they changed the formula or something. I don't know. Another good one is their version of Y is really good. I mean, you can if you go to their website, you can see which one. It's easy to tell. This is YSLY. This is this. Um, Jazz Club. Their version of Jazz Club is really good from Mesa Margiela. So they got some good stuff. They do. And the good part about them is if you don't like something, you just return it. You spray the bottle. They used to give decants with the bottles. Now it's just spray the bottle. If you don't like it, send it back. We give you before refund. So they have a really good return policy. So you just get whatever the hell interests you. And if you don't like it, you send the shit back. It's great business practice, you know. CK1 Red, grassy fresh aldehydic pear. That does sound good. What do you think about Sheriff the Club by Zamaya? I haven't tried that one. We'll hang out for a few more minutes, guys. I mean, we it was focused on the shopping. I doubt my cart's going to sell out while I'm talking to you guys, so I'm, I'm okay with it. <laughs> Love that you had it within reach. I guess you missed talking. I missed you talking about it. Which uh, which fragrance? Let me scroll up, see what you're talking about. Oh, Coral Fantasy. Yeah, I had it within reach. Yeah. I always The stuff I like pulling the cap and sniffing on that I've gotten in you know recent months, they all stay right there. Even if I haven't been wearing them, I pull the cap and sniff them all the time. So where was I? Here we go. During Christmas week or month, you should do great fragrances for holidays. I do every year. I do fragrances for Christmas, for Thanksgiving. I do you for New Year's parties. Yeah, I, I do those every year. I will. And typically I talk about here's what I'm considering. It's like I'm talking about the options I'm debating on wearing myself with you guys. And, you know, some suggestions I would throw out there for you to maybe consider, basically. It's kind of like I'm, I'm talking about, like, I'll just use you and I specifically, Joel. 
it's like I'm trying to pick out fragrances for me and for you at the same time is the way I typically do videos like that. Ooh, that's like an 8.5 out of 10. That's great. Like bordering outstanding. That's awesome to hear, Sandy. I, I look forward to seeing you there, my man. They said around two weeks. So I'm hoping, you know, let's say the 15th, 16th range, something like that. That'd be cool because we're traveling for Christmas weekend. So the full week of holiday sense. Be very festive. That's I'm going to pull out. Now, I can tell you right now, I'm going to include it, but I'm going to wear it, especially since EJ is no longer with us. But for Christmas Eve, because that's when my family typically does. We do Christmas Day, too, but the main events, Christmas Eve, I'm wearing them for the holidays this Christmas Eve. You know, God rest EJ's soul. It's my favorite fragrance from him. It is Christmas in a bottle to me. It's my favorite gourmand, and I'm not a big gourmand guy. It's my favorite coffee fragrance. I'm gonna. I only wear it this this time of year, and I'm absolutely, absolutely going to wear it. Cuba cigar scent because I like the bottle design. Real awful. Yeah, I hate that's. I hate that fragrance. That's the fragrance I hate. Cuba black. Cuba prestige black. It's awful. Absolutely awful. Well, it depends on the fragrance because Dossier has got some good quality stuff, but it depends because like if you smell. Alexandria's version of Fierce. Smells synthetic like Fierce. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, if you smell the version of Sauvage, it's synthetic like Sauvage. Like it, it depends. Certain ones, they have better oil quality because it depends on the, the oils that are being used in the blend. Same thing goes with Dossier. It all depends on the number of aroma chemicals that are in there. Whoop. Paris Corner North Stag Phenomenal Quartz. Need a top 10 in-law holiday repellent list. I don't really have fragrances that I would say are bad smelling to kind of, unless you have people that are, have sensitive noses, then you can go with just some overwhelming beast that you spray heavy, but you might ruin it for yourself. <laughs> so that's an interesting one to do. I know you're being funny, but I'm trying to think if it's something I can actually pull off. Cause I'm always open to ideas. Especially with channel members. That's that's what part of being a channel member is. is I want you guys' suggestions on content. What's the best Swiss Arabian juice? Ah, uh, somebody else is gonna have to answer that. I'm not sure. Yeah, 50 sprays of ooh, do it. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Matthew, I appreciate that. Let's see what level you Hall of Fame. So you're in for the niche giveaway. So typically after the so it's the first weekend happens to be the beginning of the month. So during the week, this upcoming week. I'm going to put out the two different polls for uh, the main prize for the Hall of Fame and, and Super Fan tier, and then a poll for the main prize for the All-Star tier, which you're eligible for both at that level. So there's three spins for the All-Star tier, and we need one more member to have a second spin for the Hall of Fame tier. We've been at 19 every month. We're at 20, but there's one that's not that doesn't want to be in the giveaways, but we need 20 eligible members. To, to be in to get a second niche spin uh, so it's gonna be a niche fragrance you're eligible for and then we have a main prize designer a bottle I pick at random to give away on a second spin and then a mystery box that I do that's full of samples and decants uh, that's my favorite thing to do I love putting that together so welcome awesome I know the members at as on right on cue they use the custom emojis to welcome a new member in every time Actually, yeah, you make number 20. You're right, Sean. He makes number 20 as long as everybody renews. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be damned. I'm sitting here explaining it. And he's number he's number 20 for eligible. We now have 21. That's perfect because the minimum is 12 members for that tier. And uh, we had 19 eligible with 20 members total. Now we got 21 with 20 eligible. That's perfect. Can be made with whatever chemicals are found. At I'm not going to say you're wrong there, Rick. I'm not going to say that's far-fetched. Interlude, the blue beast. See, I can't get down with that one. Believe it or not, my least favorite's the regular version. I actually appreciate the overwhelming pungence of the 53X straight, and I think Black Iris is the best of the three. I've had decants of all of them, but none of them made me want a bottle. But I totally get why people like them. They're very unique. That oregano note really makes it unique. There's Kyler hitting it, too. Casablanca, huh? Okay, I've done a little homework on that one. Yeah, Joel's pretty good for those. 
and then uh, Hidden Gems hitting you with a good suggestion. Or trying for Bacchus for the first time last week. Felt like I needed a 70s leather jacket and some shaft music because I felt cool as hell. I like that. I like that. That's a bad motherfucker scent, too. So I like the reference. Oh, snap, two spins. Yeah, that's two spins. So we're going to have to do two this month. So the second spin is going to be something that I pick, but the first spin is going to be something you guys pick. So we'll come up for something uh, seasonally appropriate. It'll be something good for the winter. So for lack of a better term, it's going to be a bad motherfucker for the niche spin. I'm going to put five options that are some bad, that I believe to be some bad motherfuckers and uh, see what you guys go after. But I am open to suggestions that you guys want to vote for. So by all means, let me know in messages and stuff like that. Um, Or actually, I think what I'll do is Monday for the Hall of Fame tier, since we've got two spins, I'll put out a post for you guys to throw some suggestions. And if you guys kind of thumbs up a bunch of them or respond to them and you guys say, yeah, I'd like I'd like that. Or in the majority, I'll throw some of those in there. And let's say y'all come up with three good ones that y'all will agree on. I'll do those three and I'll pick two or something for you guys to vote on. But we'll figure something out since it's going to be two this month. It's December. December's a heavy hitter niche month. That's when people are wearing their strongest shit. So we're going we're gonna to do it right. We're going to do it right for the niche spins this month. 30 sprays of Virtus or Amber for the office. So I'm guessing it's really strong then. So that's the Hall of Fame tier. So we got two spins this month. So it's five spins total that the Hall of Fame and Superfan tier are eligible for because we do the Hall of Fame spins first. The niche spins, we do those first. And the two that are going to win, they get pulled off the wheel. As you win, you get pulled off the wheel. And then we have the all-star wheel, which you're still eligible for all three of those if you didn't win in the niche spins. So everybody in the niche tier that is eligible for five spins this month. So, yeah, pretty good. That's what I'm saying. As we get more members, I increase the, the chances to win different things because I don't want it to just be hard odds. You know, it's something you guys pay for the membership. So I don't want the odds to be, you know, just outrageous for anybody. I want everybody to feel like I got a fair shake here to win something cool. Hell, Jared's been on a streak. Jared won something three months in a row. Three months in a row. Got a clover in his ass. Four leaf clover. Looking forward to being a member. We're happy to have you, Matthew. Welcome, my man. Ocean Noir Dive is in there. A good clone for it. Ocean Noir Dive? I know of Ocean Noir from Michael Malal, but Ocean Noir Dive I'm not familiar with. Your links for fragrances are awesome. I appreciate that, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> by the fireplace by Latafa would blow the whole family out their seats. I have it, and it's disgusting. Nefs. Ooh, that's not a bad idea. I still need to get that for myself, too. So if Neff ends up being it, I'm going to buy myself a bottle, too. I'll buy two bottles if y'all end up voting for that. So we'll do that one. That, that'll that be one of the options. I think that's, that's a great one to pick. Great idea. I don't even think we need to vote for should this be eligible for the vote. I want to throw that one in there because I'll probably, like I said, if y'all end up picking that one, I'll buy me a bottle, too. Did we like gypsy water? I've never tried it. It's always fun with people on the Price is Right spin the big wheel and fall down. I haven't watched that in so long. The last time I saw it, Drew Carey looked really bad. Like he's really let himself go. It was a couple of weeks ago. I had a doctor's appointment. And I said, Price is Right was on. And I saw him. I was like, wow. He doesn't even look the same. Got to get that. Good, good to see you, Stephen. Hope everyone's... Been happy and healthy. I can't complain, sir. But Iris Man Intense, and it wasn't what I was expecting. It is accurate to the actual Prada Loma Intense. Yeah, it smells just like it. Just it's a heavier wear. It's not as bright because it's a higher oil concentration. Yeah, it smells just like it. It's right here. Have you ever smelled Prada Loma Intense? Because I could see why it's not what you were expecting if you never smelled Prada Loma Intense. This is spot on. It's definitely spot on. He did a great job. Uh, so I'm buying Pasha de Cartier Noir Absolu. Uh, I have Pasha de Cartier Parfum, but outside of that, super limited. None of the declaration stuff, not Linval, not Roadster. Justin is Cartier. I think of Justin when Cartier's fragrances come up because he's got a bunch of them. One million royal. Zeus, good to see you. 
All right. For designer, I'm going to say Lamal Le Parfum, Blue Noir Parfum from Narciso Rodriguez. So many good designer irises. It's tough. I'm going to exclude. I'm going to exclude Lebola Parfum because the iris isn't dominant. Diorum Parfum is so much better than Diorum Intense to me. So much better, I think. It's one of my five favorite fragrances. So I got to go with those three. Um, I got to go with those three. That's my three favorites as far as designers. Gypsy Water, Notes, Needle Base. Top 10 offensive fragrances, that's not a bad idea because I would think over overwhelming potency and pungence would be the like the deciding factors for what could make that list because it would have to be fragrances where when you go beyond five sprays, it's it's overwhelming and it's rough for people. So like Amaru Dark Orchid comes to mind. Red Tobacco can be like that. To some people, oh, it's beautiful. No, yeah, in moderation, red tobacco is beautiful. Heavily, get away from me. <laughs> I want to be able to breathe, you know. So that's how I would have to come, you know, come with the list. Is it have to be stuff that literally falls into what would be offensive to average the average person you walk by. I'm up for it. I'm up for it. I'll give it some thought. I can't guarantee it's going to come out, but I have to give it some thought and make sure it's something that I can pull off that is meaningful to me because. When it comes to these list topics, to keep your soul satisfied, they got to mean something to you. You know what I mean? You want to play the game with YouTube and give people what they want to watch, but it's got to mean something to you and actual be actual experiences so it's legitimate and it's not just some bullshit. So I got to give a little thought into that one. So my 10 may surprise you because it'll come, it'll be how I view that. Ooh. That's a good question. Gentleman only absolutes really good, but it's discontinued now. It's kind of like gentleman only meets spice bomb, but the original gentleman only I think is the best way to go. Very fruity, smoky, woodsy, very professional type of everyday wear. I think it's really good. I do a top 10 offensive fragrances for life. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Satire, Jeremy fragrance. Bowl season coming up. We need some lists. Five SEC. Ah, I can't do that. That because that that's not going to be meaningful to me. Uh, so I can't do that one. That that unfortunately, Sean, I'm not going to be able to do that one. Power. There you go. I I'm ordering it. It's right here in the cart. <laughs> We're ordering it. That and Bentley Black. I never had. Been meaning to get for years. Yep, I'm getting it. So, Darren, I guess you're just getting here. This is what I'm ordering after we end this live stream. We, we put 13 fragrances in the cart all together. I whittled it down to eight. Vertus Oriental Rose, Pasha de Cartier Noir Absolute, Lagerfeld Bois de Yuzu, Chopard, Cedar Malachi, Bentley Absolute, Bentley Black, Bulgari Porum Extreme, because I sure the hell loved the regular one this morning, or well, this afternoon, and Lolita Limpica Green Lover. So that's going to be the order. I see a comparison with Gucci Guilty Absolute. Okay. It's, if it's similar, then I'm definitely going to love it. So that's not a gentleman only fragrance. So gentleman only is a different line. It's a different DNA. So that's the thing. The, it's confusing the way they did that because it's gentleman and then gentlemen only. And they have the same bottle. It's interesting. I've never smelled that, nor do I have the desire to. Ooh, Lomi Ideal Extreme or Noir Parfum. That's tough because those are both so different and so good. That reminds me. I need to wear Galan Lomi Ideal Extreme. Good idea. But I don't have Then get Noir Parfum, Blue Noir Parfum then. If you don't have an Iris fragrance yet, have you tried some of them though? Because that could be risky business for you. UGA, Bo, I've been waiting for a long time for them to hit a hot streak. Okay, just got here. Okay, 10-4. They have some with uh, milk notes, uh, like literal, like glass of milk and stuff like that. Some of them have that. They have this milky, creamy kind of feel to them. It kind of changes the texture to the aroma. Out of 473 is Masoni Wave. I know it's crazy. It's not crazy. My most complimented is Invictus Aqua 2018. 
And I got over 1,500 fragrances at this point. I get a compliment pretty much every time I wear it, most of the time multiple, because I usually wear it when we're going somewhere and it's hot outside. I only wear it in the summer. It's like summer in a bottle to me. So guys, on that note, we're almost at two hours. I want to go ahead and get this order done. Thank you to everybody for the super chats. Thank you to everybody I haven't seen in a while that showed up and everybody that's always here. I appreciate you guys too. This was a great second stream. Uh, it's actually my third stream of the day because I co-hosted Dedrick's 10K celebration, uh, 10,000 subscribers celebration earlier with him after we did this five fragrance haul from this afternoon. Uh, no stream tomorrow, though. I'm not going to get the wild hair up my ass to do another stream tomorrow. I'm streamed out. I did it almost two hours earlier, two hours here, over an hour with Dedrick. That's enough streaming for me for the weekend. We'll be back on Monday with uh, this new collection from Cudlage Perfumes that Aroma Concepts sent my way. It's four fragrances. I have no clue about them. Boxes look nice. They're large boxes. Uh, we're going to check them out together. Don't know notes, what they're supposed to be, nothing. Blind as shit. I love it. <laughs> I love when I'm blind as shit going into these. That makes it all the more fun, right? So anybody that wants to join, I look forward to seeing you guys there. Weekly rotation is uploaded, ready to go for in the morning. It'll be live at 8 a.m. Central. Uh, when I wake up is when I usually do my shorts video for the day. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate the company. It was great to hang with you guys. Y'all have a great rest of your evening and a happy Sunday. Have a good one, guys.